So getting into some of the new legislation that was passed, um, AB 1676 um, implemented uh, some new requirements that um, the employees and employees' prior salary cannot by itself justify a disparity in compensation. Um, so basically existing law prohibits employers from paying employees wage rates less than uh, any other employees of the opposite sex in the same establishment for equal work under similar working conditions. Now this new law is basically just expanding this requirement that the employee's prior salary cannot be a justification for why they're getting paid less now uh, if they're hired. And uh, this law, I haven't seen a whole lot of litigation over. I mean, it's relatively new. We had the um, wage um, discrimination law come into, pl uh, come into being last year, and then this new requirement just coming into effect um, January 1st of 2017. So I don't know why I haven't seen a lot of litigation on this. It might just be so new that uh, a lot of people just don't know about it, aren't challenging it. But the law is very vague, and uh, you know these terms like similar working conditions, there's a lot of gray area here. So what I recommend for employers is to document um, and then record exactly what justification is going into the uh, pay that's set for each employee at the different positions within the company. And it's a good time just to do an audit to look across the company to make sure that everybody in similar positions are getting paid the same amounts. And, uh, and if they're not, to really dig deep and be able to justify why they're paid differently. And uh, you know, objectively, it'd be best for employers to look at you know, different uh, working conditions. So if they have different uh, duties or work requirements or something like that, that would justify the difference in pay. So um, it should be documented. And again, it comes back to the practice of having job descriptions. That would be key in defending a claim under these, these new laws. Uh, something you could objectively point to and say, look, this employee was hired for this job. This employee was hired for a different job. And that's why we have the pay uh, differences that exist. And also SB 1063 um, expands the Fair Pay Act to pr protect race and ethnicity. So basically prior, it was just limited to gender last year, but now it's expanding it to these other protected categories.